Hey guys, we're here at home. I'm the dorm room gardener. My name is Daniel. Joel's not here today, unfortunately. I am at home in Brandon, Manitoba. And I wanted to do a little video on what some of the possible reasons that your lime tree could be uh, slowly dying is. Um, for me, it was frost. Uh, I got really cold in my dorm room one night and that was kind of the start of the end for the tree, which was really unfortunate. Um, it was a gift for Christmas, but I know another common problem is overwatering. Uh, citrus trees really like to be fully dry before they get another shot of water. So that's another important thing. Uh, those are kind of the two main things, especially for this climate around here. But now let's go take a look at the lime that we had. It's still alive, but it uh, has unfortunately lost all of its leaves. Hey guys, we're here with this lime plant and uh, let me just give you a little background first. So this is a lime plant I received from my parents for Christmas last year. And uh, when, when we first got it, it was beautiful. It had lots of bushy leaves. Uh, there were stems here, here, and here. Uh, but unfortunately, it had some frost damage uh, with it being in my dorm room, which is why it's no longer there. Um, however, before we got frost damage, it did get some fruit sets. And I selected the uh, largest one here, which has definitely slowed its growth, but not completely halted its growth since it's lost all the leaves, which is quite interesting. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is a video about uh, how to try to recover your lime plant after it's uh, suffered some severe damage like that, so we'll get into that right away. Alright, so what do you do when you see some serious stress in your lime tree? Well, the first thing that I did right away when I saw that stress, I'll give you a nice close-up right there. All the dead, new growth sections that were looking like they weren't going to make it, I immediately cut so that the tree did not waste any resources trying to sustain those branches which were hopeless anyways. Also, I still had hope that the fruit set would continue to grow, so I, I maintained one lime plant, which you can see, I'll give you a little comparison to my finger there, is about the same width as my finger, so we got good growth out of that even though the plant was stressed. Um, so the sec after trimming the, all the dead branches, the next thing you want to do is you want to check the ends of these branches for fresh growth. So you see it's all the way green right to the end there. Go check this one over here. All the way green over there. And if we check over here, there's a little bit of browning, which indicates that the tip of that is dead. So we're gonna have to go away right away and trim that. So what I'm going to do then is go ahead, cut that, making sure to do so just above one of the buds. Fresh green growth all the way down. Next thing is if we want this thing to come back, what it really needs is leaves, uh, which right now it has none. But it does have this fruit and that is where it's putting all its energy to right now. So it's a tough decision, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that fruit off. Use the clippers again, making sure to stay nice and close to the top there. Let's see if I can just grab it. Just barely, I don't want to damage the stem at all. All right, there we go. There's the lime for you. But the next thing we need to do if we want to bring this thing back to life is fertilize. All right, to fertilize this plant here, I just use what we have at home, which is some miracle Grow Shake Feed. Uh, pretty high on the nitrogen, so I'm hoping that's okay. But, I mean, it's what I have, so it's kind of what we're gonna use. Don't really have the money to afford a specific citrus fertilizer, but this should do the trick. So, I'm gonna take fertilizer, sprinkle it in around there. Like that. Then I just wanna work it in my fingers to make sure that's spread evenly. There's a, as you'll notice here, there is a little line seedling, which uh, must have been in the soil when we bought this plant, because we did not plant that. So that's a little excitement. So I don't want to work up its soil around its roots too much. So I'm gonna be gentle around there, and then I'm gonna get a little bit deeper everywhere else in this pot. Try to work that in fairly deep without breaking any roots, going gently and slowly. Alright, see if I can get some over here. And now to 
the part that has a seedling in it, so we're going to be a little bit more gentle. Working it around there. I thought about trying to remove the seedling from the pot, but it looks like it's rooted fairly well and uh, is doing quite well, so I'm not going to really disturb it too much. I'm just going to let it do its own thing in there. All right. So, we've got the food worked in, and now it's time to water. All right, so for watering, guys, I'm just going to give it just enough to get that fertilizer worked in. We don't want to overwater, as that is uh, something that citrus plants do not like. So, yeah, just a shot of water to kind of work in that fertilizer, and that's going to be good. Don't want to overwater it. There we go. That's good. Uh, this is a slow release fertilizer, so I'm not too worried about getting it in the soil immediately, and I'm not too worried about over fertilizing the plant as it uh, tries to recover. So I'm going to keep you guys updated in the future, and like, we'll let you know how this plant goes, and hopefully we can get it back to a really help healthy plant. All right, see you later. All right, guys, as promised, here's a close up of the lime that I had to cut off of the plant. As you can see in there, there's some kind of rudimentary or what would have become seeds if this had continued to grow. Nice thick skin. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot going out. Uh, you guys can't really tell this, but it smells beautiful. It smells a lot like a lime. Uh, it's too bad we had to end it early, but hey, we got fruit set and that's an accomplishment in itself.